Hey there, groovy dudes and groovy dudettes. <laughs> it is, what is it, Thursday, of course, because it is Thanksgiving Day in the United States, which means Canada has it some other day, and which means the rest of you, I don't know, you should catch up. <laughs> okay, first thing before we go along with this particular guitar lesson, yeah, guess what, got another guitar. Um, you'll be like, I've seen that one, yeah. So, this one. Yeah, the Reverend, 2007 again. Um, again, they make everything out of Carina. Um, everybody thinks Carina is a rare wood and you should pay a lot of money for it. No, it's not. <laughs> everybody charges you extra for it. You know, like the old 58, you know, Vs and Explorers. Everybody thinks it's a really sought-after rare wood. But, no, they crank these flipping things out so every single reverend guitar is made out of it which again is why these are groovy because it was before um they were made out of that so these are same as your um les paul's your studios so it's before they quite got it figured out what they wanted to do so mahogany mahogany and some more mahogany so that's what it was and then oh you see it yeah so I got this one a couple weeks ago. I got this one yesterday. So why? Because I got the deal of a lifetime on it and had to do it because something about these little puppies that I'll, I think, will bite will take off someday. Right now they are um, very iffy as far as the market goes. Um, they're not selling for what they should be selling for on the used market, but that's the used market. These are uh, good guitars that I think hopefully that they'll... I've been talking to Ken Haas again over there, and I've let him know that I've not extremely fought like it matters um, with Naylor over there who has to do everything. Um, guy walks around wearing pigtails. I should have wore pigtails today just for fun. Uh, but anyway, yeah, a lot of their cars look like little beetle bug, you know, the German VW bugs. And I only find like two of their guitars even slightly decent looking. That's one of them, and the one next to it's the other. And the other one are my, uh, oh, the V's I have with the three single coils too. Then they make, you know, a typical V, but everything else is really an odd duck. But these are cool, so hopefully they'll come up with better body designs because their USA stuff was cooler back in the days as far as um, designs but not quite as cool of guitars oddly enough but those are two thousand bucks for a lot of the US ones um, so you collect what you collect <laughs> I know a lot of people collect the old USA ones and I don't know if they're gonna get that money but I just have a f have a feeling anyway today yeah guitar lesson day instead of just showing stuff. Okay, I'm just going to show it on my acoustic. Yeah, this is, um, yeah, another wash burn. I just always end up with their stuff. If you, for some of those of you who have not seen this one before, yeah, this is kind of doing what Ibanez did back in the 70s was the uh, maple fingerboard. And they did, uh, that was the Concord series. A lot of them in the Concord series that were like the doves, hummingbirds, uh, the J200, and all that stuff, and did some really cool things, and then they came out with the, uh, the ones that look like this, and then a 12-string version of it, and just cool, so it was nice to see another maple fingerboard come out. They're just groovy looking. Sound any different? Nope. <laughs> um... Okay, so along with the lessons here, let me get in on myself. We all know how much fun that can be. What shirt do I got today? Oh, country till the day that I die. Um, yeah. Um, Mel Tillis passed away a few days ago, if you guys remember good old Mel Tillis. And just the Coca-Cola cowboy. <laughs> My wife heard that after um, she came home. I told her about him passing away and... Of course, the only thing she remembered about him at all was his stuttering until he sang that he didn't stutter. But she didn't know the song, so I played Coca-Cola Cowboy for her. She's like, 
that's a real song. <laughs> yep, pretty big hit there, kid. Okay, so what I want to do is, of course, this is something um, I would normally play on, I guess, anything for myself. Um, you guys, it sounds great on um, clean stuff on your electrics. It sounds great with some overdrive, but slight overdrive. Um, I kind of consider this a... A very definite blend of a lot of things I've shown you but just going to give you those things again and then just in a different context but I think of it as Jimi Hendrix meets the Doobie Brothers okay and then that's what I get out of it um, so kind of China Grove and kind of the Hendrix you know that kind of thing um, why because it's in there <laughs> you can't get rid of something that's that cool and just toss it away. God, how much dirt do I got under my damn nails today? I'm sitting there thinking. I probably shouldn't go on before cleaning those and then I forgot about that part. Okay. Uh, okay, maybe you don't have to say them. Uh, maybe you will. Okay, so I'm going to go in the key of E. What I'm going to do is go up here to the, um, where are we at? The ninth fret. And go through the D, G, and B strings. Okay. Okay, and what I'm going to add to that, okay, that's just your E chord. Just like if you're playing like a D and moving it up two frets. There's no difference. Okay. So, um, the notes I've always put around these are to go from here. And then your four chord would just be this, your A. Okay, so again, you put down the middle finger on 10, your ring finger on 11. Okay, and if you play the right rhythm, you can hear some more doobies. Okay, um, so which doobie you be? Yeah, that came off an old episode of uh, What's Happening with Rerun and Raj and Dwayne. Hey, 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 Rerun's dead. Um, Fred Berry, you guys are too young to know the good stuff. Okay, so we go from E to A, same as... Or... Okay, so that's just a simple part of it. Um, the other part is going to be, like I said, the Hendrix thing. Okay, so that is only going to be from this. Using your middle finger up here on the A string, and we're going to put it on 10. And then we're going to hammer on your ring finger at 11. And we're going to play like three strings, but starting with the A. Okay, and do a hammer on. Because you're just hammering on it to that, then this chord's under it, okay? And also with that, you will notice that's just the last part of... So you just drop it down two frets, down to D, you do it, D sharp. Okay, so keep that in mind. that at the end of a lot of songs just live because it's cool and then people catch on in the band and when they all start doing it then people in the crowd catch on that have any taste or that taste good <laughs> less filling okay so with this okay you've got that you've got this okay again a lot of these shapes and little doodads are cool with you but I want to combine them in a different way again you have the uh, Hendrix now you got part of the doobies and there's some more doobies coming up um, just a band with a lot of flipping groove man but a little more Hendrix stuff is just playing around with this E here So that's just putting a, um, another hammer on from the ninth fret 
on the D string up to the 11th. Okay, so. So I'm playing the D string and the G string. Oh, there it is. <laughs> So there's a few things. As you can tell, I'm going to keep rambling, and that's the way this lesson is just going to be. No editing, kids, so you get full Dr. Groovy today. Because um, I just feel like yakking. It's just being me and the wife all day, so now it's just you and I, whoever you are. <laughs> okay, so you can see how things are just starting to pop up. Well, no, you can't. Got my guitar here, but anyway... Okay, so anything can be uh, happening now because you're putting these together, or I am, and you can uh, start experimenting like in college, girls, <laughs> and boys, okay, um, everybody gets to be a transgender these days, or whatever bathroom you want to use, and so I've been using my wife's bathroom a lot, I wouldn't dare do that. Okay, so again... <laughs> Um, I actually put this in later just for my own fun, and it'd be fun in a band situation where everybody did go from the D to the D sharp or the E flat up to the E. Okay. Okay, those are the same notes in your pentatonic scale. That's just in case you want to do hammer-ons. It's a neat little thing to do if you have that sitting right there. Okay, just something to teach you while I'm here. Will I put in this? No, I won't put it in this. It's just something there. Okay. to the D, to the A, back to the E. Is that what I want to show you? Nope. But it's part of what I want to show you. It just shows you you can do the E. You can do the D like this. Because we started there. So. Puts everything in it. And there's the A. Finally introduce your A string. And again, it's just something. You're like, well, that's another song. Yeah, probably is. <laughs> okay, so. So if you want to do that, there it is. Okay, so um, on with this. Same thing. A. Doing the same thing here on the E. Okay. Doing the same hammer on. Handling it just like these up here. So that's more Hendrixy sounding. Again, I'm playing it on acoustic. What do you expect? Kind of stuff I'm talking about and it's just a bunch of stuff that I've taught you before but putting it to good use okay I don't know that I've actually tossed all these together in this format it's just a great way to play rhythm and to add to your rhythm and if you're like a three-piece band and you're the only guitar player this is some great kind of stuff 
to toss in there so I'm not just playing chords all the time. <laughs> So that's just even more of it. So if you're see, you won't do it all the time. How you want to use them? I mean, they're your notes. <laughs> Have at them. Um. Okay, so I always thought it would be kind of cool um, coming back to that one chord. Okay, so you get to E to D. Don't matter what key it's actually in, of course, to the A, and then back to the one. And then the same thing, but a little bit different on the ending. D, A. Now we're going D, D sharp E. So you actually just break up. Like the second line and you can even but it's, if you want to put that stuff in there just, it's just begging for it okay so just a lot of easy stuff that um, I've shown you before the ones to the fours or five or one four five and then drop back to where this is at the ninth fret. Start there, make an F chord, and that's your five. One, four. Get me another pick. <laughs> Where's this one? More music. M O O R E. Somebody was asking me um, about one of my guitars. Oh, it was one of those reverends if I got it from Indiana at more music yes i did okay but not the one from yesterday okay okay so again one four five four one or one four five four one or one four five four one and again Why you would use them. Or is that just okay? Same old stuff, but um, yes. If you remember the Doobies and you remember, remember Hendrix and maybe some Credence um, and there, um, that's the kind of stuff you would play with it normally, but hey, you get to make up your own stuff. Again, I'm just the guy with the guitar talking a lot.
major seven before anybody asks, so I don't have to answer that one. It's the Las Vegas chord, folks. Okay, so that's it for me today. I hope you dug the uh, other green axe that I just plan on hanging on to because I was there when it was a buy it now thingy, so I did. <laughs> just because you can. You guys have um, work some of that weight off. We in America love to binge eat. As uh, everybody knows we are the fattest country in the world. It's kind of cool some days. <laughs> you guys be groovy, man. I'll see you soon. Get back on the lesson things and quit yelling at other manufacturers for about a week. <laughs> Later. <laughs>